All right, another training week in the books. Again, I'm a little bit behind, so this says seven weeks out. This is actually the week of December 30th, so we're about two weeks ahead of what you're seeing right now, but this is where things were turning around, and I've been kind of talking about that consistently the last couple of training vlogs. My training, for the most part, and my mental mindset has been going very well, so I'm happy about that. I understand that my deadlifts aren't really there. I've been talking about that a lot too. That's gonna continue to be a theme in these videos, but everything else is feeling pretty good. And the best thing is for me, I'm just not letting stuff get me down. In fact, one of the things I've been really trying to do is have a very positive mindset going into these training sessions. And I say that with some hesitation because if you've been watching me for any length of time, I tend to be overly negative, self-critical, all that stuff and I've been really trying to change my mindset. And I think it's paying dividends for the most part. Like I said, most of my lifts are feeling pretty good. And on most days, I do feel well. And I'm really trying to push through this time up until the competition. Once that's done, I think I'm gonna take a step back and kind of take a look at where I can improve some stuff, mostly with technique and form, maybe play around with a few other things to change. But a lot of times when I'm in the final stages of meat prep like I am right now, this is where I want to change everything. And that's never a good idea. However, I am introducing some new stuff in, so I've been talking in the last couple of videos, have I had some issues with my hip hinge on my RDLs, or in some cases, stiff legged deadlifts. I choose to do these from the floor in this instance just because I am benching at the same time as well. But I mentioned this previously, I posted this on Instagram the other day. By adding this slight band in, I find that it works so much better. Now the setup is a little bit wonky, number one again, because I'm lifting it from the floor and I shouldn't be doing that necessarily. But that being said, having these bands pull me back, even a light band like this blue band helps so much and I feel like these are so much better and I'm gonna continue to try to work with it in this fashion to do these movements this way. And I just figured I'd show it to you because if you have this issue, maybe throwing on a band like this and using your rack is a good thing. Uh, but as I said, previous to that new exercise I just wanted to talk about, uh, one of the things I, I will also be showing you probably is some of my assistance work. I get questions on that all the time. I think people who don't watch these training vlogs religiously, which I think is a bunch of you, just assume that I just do these main movements. And that's really what the foundation of my routine is. I do some assistance work, but it's just accessory work. So it's nothing that I really track or record because it doesn't change over time. The weight stays pretty static. And instead I'm focusing on these bigger lifts. So on this particular day, 525 was feeling very good. So much so that that first rep, I felt a little unbalanced because it moved a lot faster than I was expecting it to. And even the second rep moved very well as well. Now from here, what I'm doing is actually dropping down and doing some back off work in this case with 470. So again, very happy that 470 is my back off work for some sets of several reps after those heavy doubles. So again, really trying to embrace this process as it's been a while since I've competed. And I know in the past, even if you go and watch my old videos, Again, overly negative, always complaining. This is about the time where I start talking where everything hurts. You know, I'm questioning all my form. I'm starting questioning my numbers. And I'm not letting myself get into that bad habit this time because to be honest, I'm not putting any pressure on myself. I'm not worried about how much I weigh. I'm not really worried about how much I'm gonna lift. Ideally, I'm gonna come as close to possible as like a 1500 total. It's a total that I've far and far exceeded in the past previously. But again, it's been two years since I've competed at all. So anything close to that I think will be considered a good win. And again, my plan this year is to really try to push myself all of 2020 up until the point where I turn 40 at the beginning of 2021 and see really where I can take myself if I try to be positive, if I try to stick to a consistent training program and just really do the work and, and see what happens and I'm looking forward to that process and I understand it's going to take some baby steps so even though my goal for when I hit 40 is to hit a 1600 pound total I know that it's not going to happen overnight I got to just kind of slowly work my way there one of the ways I'm doing it by keeping myself accountable with these training logs that you're watching and also showing you some of the new exercises like what I would call somewhat of a goblet squat I didn't really feel like using a kettlebell or loading up a dumbbell instead one of the nice things with these weights that I've reviewed the other day you can grip them easily so just really trying to work on getting some movement in which really helps my soreness overall so as always thanks for watching in the meantime stay big